There's a huge debate raging across the crypto world. And the question is, who's better, Solana or Ethereum? And more importantly, who will win in 2024? Well, unless you're a maxi of either project, you'll admit that there's a case to be made for both sides. That's why in this video, I wanna carefully compare both ETH and Sol to determine who's my personal winner. So let's start with the most important aspect of them all, adoption. Well, for that, Solana has been absolutely crushing it lately. I mean, they have over a million daily active users doing 33.6 million transactions per day. That's wild. Meanwhile, Ethereum is being left in the dust and is struggling to keep up with Solana's explosive growth. And don't even get me started on the DEX volume. Solana is crushing it with $2.5 billion, while Ethereum's 1.2 billion looks tiny in comparison. With double the volume of its rival, Solana has cemented itself as the king of DEXs, and it doesn't look like it's gonna give up that title anytime soon. But hold up, because we can't count out Ethereum just yet. It is still winning on some other metrics after all, such as monthly revenue and total value locked. Those metrics prove that Ethereum is still a force to be reckoned with, even if it's not leading the pack in adoption for now. So who comes out on top in this category? Well, I gotta say that Solana does. However, it's important to note that Solana's rise to the top has been a recent thing, and we all know how quickly things can change in the crypto space. Anyhow, let's move on to the next important aspect, which is regulations, because this is where things get interesting. Ethereum's been shining here lately, scoring a huge win when the SEC approved their spot ETFs out of nowhere. Sure, there's still some paperwork to sort out, but once that's finalized, it's game on. Analysts are predicting that these ETFs could bring in around $4.8 billion in the first five months alone. So that's an absolute game changer for Ethereum. On the flip side, Solana has been facing some tough challenges from the regulators. The SEC has labeled Sol as a security, which makes it hard for them to get approved for their own ETF. Not to mention, Solana's reputation as a hotspot for meme coins could come back to haunt them. If regulators decide to crack down on meme coins and the people creating them, then it could spell trouble for Solana's future. So when it comes to navigating the regulatory minefield, Ethereum has a clear advantage here. That's why I deem them the winner of this category. Anyhow, the next category that I wanna analyze is narratives and ecosystems. Like which project has more going on for it? Well, on the NFT front, Ethereum has been leading that for a few years now, but it looks like Solana is starting to give them a run for their money. For example, only 2% of unique buyers on Magic Eden come from Ethereum, while a crazy 81% come from Solana. That's a significant chunk of the market share for that marketplace at least. And that's why I have Solana taking an early lead in this category. Meanwhile, another big narrative is the ultrasound money one that everyone was spouting for Ethereum. Unfortunately, their latest Denkun upgrade kind of messed that up for them. Sure, it made transactions cheaper, but it also made ETH inflationary again, which isn't what people were expecting. In fact, in the past 30 days, Ethereum has only burned 39% of its new issuance, so it's not looking too ultra sound at the moment. Now, on the bright side, Ethereum does have an advantage, which is its appeal to big institutional players in the real world assets space. Currently, Ethereum leads the RWA sector with a combined market cap of 571 million, which is way ahead of Solana's 47 million. So clearly when it comes to RWAs, Ethereum is still the go-to platform for big players. On the other hand, Solana is crushing it in the meme coin and D-pin fronts. With its fast speeds and low fees, Solana has become the preferred blockchains for those type of projects. So as you can see, picking a winner in this category is a tough call, which is why I'm declaring this one a tie. But what about catalysts and moats? Because that's some real make or break stuff for these types of projects. Well, Ethereum has got some serious catalysts on the horizon, like the potential $4 billion inflow from the ETFs. And then Coinbase is aiming to bring a mind blowing 1 billion new users onto the Ethereum network through its base layer two blockchain. But Ethereum isn't only relying on those catalysts. It's also got some impressive moats 
to defend its position. With a massive developer community, top tier security, and a war chest of a billion dollars held by their foundation, Ethereum is looking quite cozy in its top spot. However, Solana is not about to let Ethereum hog all the spotlight. Remember when they launched the Saga mobile phone and it sold out super quickly? Yep, that was quite impressive. And then they've already opened pre-orders for their next phone, the Chapter 2, which has a lower price point and will ship sometime in 2025. That phone already surpassed 100,000 pre-orders within a month, showing that Solana's mobile-first approach is gaining traction. And if that wasn't enough, PayPal's very own stablecoin, PiUSD, just made its debut on the Solana network, which could be huge for real-world adoption and additional use cases. So while Ethereum might have the upper hand when it comes to catalysts and moats, Solana's mobile focus strategy and big time partnerships are keeping it in the game. But either way, for this category, I'm taking Ethereum, even though, like I said, Solana is putting up a great fight. Anyhow, so far we've dissected a bunch of fundamentals for both projects. But if we ignore all that and just look at the charts, then what's that showing for ETH versus Sol? Well, Sol has been on an absolute tear against both BTC and ETH in 2024. And it's not hard to see why. With its lightning fast transaction speeds and rock bottom fees, Solana has been attracting users and developers left and right. But just when it looked like Sol was gonna leave ETH in the dust, the ETH ETFs got approved out of nowhere. And in a single day, Ethereum increased by the size of Solana's entire market cap. So that was insane to see. And now some analysts are pointing to the charts and saying that Sol could be in a rough patch versus ETH in the short term. In fact, some are even calling for the Sol ETH cycle top. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here because while that is possible, we gotta remember that the rest of the cycle is still unwritten and how this plays out depends on how the market evolves from here. After all, if we really want an alt season, then Ethereum has got to step up and outperform Bitcoin for an extended period of time. Phew, that was a lot of information to digest, wasn't it? But what does all this mean in terms of the original debate? Well, my verdict is that while I'm bullish on Seoul long term, I believe that ETH will beat it out for the rest of this year. One thing that I think will drag Seoul down is all those meme coins and celebrity coins that launched recently because their creators are selling their raised soul, which puts a lot of selling pressure on it, just like how those ICOs put selling pressure on ETH back in the day. But hey, that's just my personal opinion, and one thing's for sure is that this battle is far from over. Only time will tell who wins, but you can bet that I'll be watching closely.